So the only announcement I want to make to you right now, because many of you will be going to the High Holiday Experience for grades two through six, uh, that starts at 1030 in the 84th Street building and also tomorrow in the 84th Street building. And we'll have Tashlich after services tomorrow in Central Park. One of my favorite stories is about called Bagels from Benny. And I want to share for just a couple of minutes this wonderful story and then give you a message at the end. Everybody thanked Benny's grandpa for the wonderful bagels he made. And Benny and his grandpa kept saying, why do you thank me? And Benny said, well, why, who should they thank? We well, said, well, where does flour come? Flour comes from wheat. Where does wheat come from? From the earth. Who made the earth? God did. So you should thank God. So Benny said, I'm going to thank God and hope that God answers my prayer. He kept Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Didn't hear a word from God. Why doesn't God answer me? Well, maybe I didn't thank God properly. Maybe I should go to the place where people thank God all the time, the synagogue. So he goes to the synagogue, and he decides, well, I can't hear anything. I'm going to put the bagels right into the ark. Maybe God will eat, but will th not only thank me, but eat my bagels and put the bagels right into the ark, and then sat around for a while, came back the next day, the ark was open, and the bagels were gone. God ate my bagels! I gotta keep bringing God more bagels, goes back to Grandpa, keeps taking bagels. Grandpa's thinking, where is my grandson going with all these bagels? Maybe he's got a side business somewhere. So he follows Benny, and they wind up back in the synagogue. The ark is open, the Torah is taken out, no bagels. And Benny said, I've been bringing bagels to God, and God has been eating them. And Grandpa said, my, my grandson, God doesn't eat bagels. God doesn't have lips. God doesn't eat. So where do they go? So they sit together and they sit in the darkness and into the synagogue walks a man with a very torn coat. The kind of people that sometimes we see on the streets of New York. He walked up to the ark, he took the bag of bagels, and he said, in front of the ark, God, I was so hungry, and for weeks you fed me. You sent me beautiful bagels. I have good news, God. I have found work. And he wiped away tears. Now I can feed myself, and you could stop making me bagels. You helped me, God. Now I promise to help others. And Benny was disappointed because he thought God was eating his bagels. And Grandpa's eyes grew wide. You wanted to thank God, didn't you? Yes, said Benny. Well, you did. How did I thank God? You gave bagels to a hungry man, right? Yes. Did he promise to help others? Yes. You made the world a better place? Yes. What better thanks could God give than you doing what God would do if God were walking among us? You fed God's people. Isn't that a great story? Now, here's the thing. When you leave the sanctuary today, you're going to be handed a bag. Now, last year, we brought back bags on Yom Kippur morning, and Rosh Shalom sent, gave 12,000 pounds of food, but that was a little less than the year before. And maybe that's because you forgot to bring food back on Yom Kippur. Don't forget, because there are lots of people like this guy. There are lots of people. There are probably kids in your own class whose parents worry about whether they're going to be able to put enough food on the table every week. And we can help. And you're going to see on Mitzvah Day that we're working with West Side Campaign Against Hunger. We're going to do even more to help feed the hungry. But you can start by bringing food back on Yom Kippur and making a huge difference in the world. Okay, our service is going to continue. with the shofar service. So if you have a shofar, come right up onto the bima now. You brought a shofar. I know Rabbi Spratt
taught a shofar workshop, so we may have